Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Ashok IT. My name is Ashok. In this video, we will understand what is Terraform and why we need to use the Terraform and what is architecture of Terraform. Alright, let's get started. What is Terraform? We can call Terraform as IAAC software. What is this IAAC? Infrastructure as a code software. Terraform is used to create infrastructure which is required for our application. What is infrastructure? Whenever we are developing a project, for our project we need some servers like Jenkins server is required and Docker machine is required and we are going to use Kubernetes and we are going to use cluster, Kubernetes cluster and we are going to use DB servers. Like this we need several machines. These are called as server machines. Jenkins server, Docker machine, Kubernetes cluster, database servers, Sonar server we need and we need to use Nexus server. To install all these servers, we need to create several machines in our cloud platform. Along with this, we need to use storage also and we need to create users to manage our infrastructure in the cloud and we need to create network in the cloud which is required for our application so like this we need to create the infrastructure the virtual machines that we need the storage that we need the users that we need the security that we need the network that we need instead of creating all this infrastructure manually in the cloud platform we can use terraform to create that infrastructure so we can also say that terraform is used for infrastructure provisioning Infrastructure provisioning means creating the infrastructure that is required for our application. As we discussed, several servers are required. We need to create virtual machines and we need to install the servers in those machines. And we need to set up a storage to store our data. We need users to manage our infrastructure. And we need a network to connect with our infrastructure. We need security for our infrastructure. Instead of we are doing that manually, we can use Terraform to do that operation. So who provided this Terraform? Terraform software developed by one company called HashiCorp. This Terraform is free. Terraform is free software. Terraform supports all clouds available in the market. By using Terraform, you can create the infrastructure in the AWS cloud. You can create infrastructure in the Azure cloud. You can create infrastructure in the GCP cloud also. Terraform supports almost all cloud platforms available in the market. By using this Terraform, we can automate infrastructure provisioning. For example, I want to create the infrastructure for one project. I have used Terraform. I have prepared the Terraform scripts to create the infrastructure. Tomorrow when I get the new project, I can use the same scripts to create the infrastructure with little modifications. So the Terraform scripts that we are writing are reusable and we are going to resolve the common human mistakes that we are doing as part of infrastructure creation. So I hope you got the clarity. What is Terraform? Terraform is IAAC software, infrastructure as a code. In order to create that infrastructure, we will write the code and we will execute that code. That code will create the infrastructure required for the project. What code we need to write to create our infrastructure? Is it Java, Python, .NET? No. Terraform provided their own language that is called as HCL language, HashiCorp configuration language. We will use this HCL to write the Terraform scripts. By using the Terraform scripts, we can create infrastructure in any cloud platform that is available in the market. Now let us see what is the architecture of that Terraform. Let's understand the Terraform architecture now. Let's understand the Terraform architecture now. First we need to write a Terraform script. Here we are going to use HCL language, a beautiful documentation available in the Terraform website to understand HCL syntaxes. This is Terraform HCL scripts we are going to save with .tf extension. Once the Terraform script is available, we are going to use Terraform init to initialize the Terraform to execute our script. Once the Terraform init is executed, we are going to execute Terraform 
plan command it is going to prepare the execution plan to create the infrastructure once the plan is created we are going to execute apply apply means it is going to create infrastructure in the cloud which we configure in our terraform script in the terraform script we are going to configure two things first one is provider that means who is our cloud provider is it aws is it azure or is it gcp that provider information we are going to configure and next one is resources we are going to configure by using this script which resources you want to create if you take aws as an example i want to create one ec2 machine i want to create one s3 bucket i want to create one vpc i want to create one rbs database so what resource you want to create that resource information we need to configure in the terraform script and who is providing the resources for you provider aws is my provider in the aws i want to create these resources like that we are going to write a terraform script by using hcl language hashicorp configuration language once our script is ready we will save with a .tf extension then we will execute terraform init command to initialize the terraform then we will execute the terraform plan command to prepare the execution plan once the plan is ready we will execute terraform apply so based on the execution plan this apply command is going to create infrastructure in the cloud as we are writing the script the code to create the infrastructure this is called infrastructure as a code software if you want to destroy that infrastructure we can execute a command called terraform destroy whatever the infrastructure that you created by using terraform you can destroy that also by executing a single command so this is the architecture of terraform we need to prepare the script we need to initialize that we need to plan we need to apply then infrastructure will be created if you want to delete that then you can execute destroy command before executing this plan if you want you can validate the script terraform validate command is available if you want to format the script terraform format command is also available terraform init terraform validate terraform format terraform plan terraform apply terraform destroy like this we can execute terraform scripts in order to provision the infrastructure in the cloud platform in the aws we have cloud formation service to create the infrastructure then what is the difference between aws cloud formation and terraform aws cloud formation is also called as iic software to create the infrastructure but that cloud formation will support only for aws terraform supports almost all the clouds available in the market terraform is having lot of demand to provision infrastructure that is required for the project i hope you understand this thanks for watching this